You've seen her on screen inspiring millions with her talk shows. But behind the celebrity spotlight lurks a tale that's still sending shockwaves around the globe. Hold on to your seats, because Jamie Foxx is about to expose Oprah's questionable actions for Hollywood's elite. Hold on to your seats, because Jamie Foxx is about to expose Oprah's questionable actions for Hollywood's elite. Hi, everyone. And welcome back to Celeb Live Channel in today's juicy slice of celeb gossip. I'm delving into a story that's more gripping than a Hollywood thriller picture. This a raw Winfrey revered for her philanthropic work, setting up a leadership academy for girls in South Africa, a noble act right. But wait as Jamie Foxx reveals there's a side to this story that might just have your jaw dropping, but after battling the elates himself, Oscar winner Jamie Foxx released the revelation that has shaken Tinseltown to its core. Foxx is no stranger to Hollywood's underbelly, as seen by his enthusiastic support for Alejandro Gomez's Sound of Freedom. Monteverdi just adds gasoline to the flames started by Mel Gibson's stunning remarks. According to one insider, Jamie Foxx had a run-in with Oprah Winfrey and witnessed personally how manipulative and mean-spirited she could be, so he refused her attempts to cement his relationships with Hollywood elites. Yes, you read that correctly. Fox, who has faced the machinations of Oprah Winfrey herself, has some unique insights into the secret realm of Hollywood powerhouses from his close encounters with the TV queen. He sensed her manipulative spirit. One might even argue that it's this personal brush with the dark heights of Hollywood that fuels his endorsement for Sound of Freedom, according to an insider privy to a private conversation with Fox. He said Oprah may be seen in as a queen of television. But if that wasn't enough to raise an eyebrow, Fox's stand against the Hollywood elites has been unyielding and downright brave. He's seen the power structures that silence inconvenient voices and has fought them himself. The elites in Hollywood tried to ban my film project but I won't be silenced the tale of Sound of Freedom is one that needs to be shared, and I am glad to support it. According to an insider, Fox disclosed in a private chat what movie we're talking about, which I'll explain amid the lavish premieres and blockbuster debuts. With his directorial debut, Jamie Fox found himself in a unique position of protest against Hollywood's elites. Since your All-Star Weekend was supposed to hit theaters during the 2018 NBA All-Star Weekend, but the film faced unforeseen setbacks and changing release dates, resulting in its unceremonious shelving in 2019. Instead of being recognized for its creative spark, the industry saw it as a wild card and chose to sideline it. Merit, a comedy starring Robert Downey Jr., Ava Longoria, and Fox himself was the actor's directorial debut. But instead of celebrating his creative venture, the powers that be in Hollywood saw it as a potential threat movies like this documentaries. Like this shows like this, there's a lot of people that want don't want to do it because where are you going to platform it? Fox, known for his unapologetic and raw commentary, firmly believes that the culture of cancellation is a manipulative tool wielded by the Hollywood elites. To them, it's nothing more than a game of chess pulling strings and making moves to maintain their monopoly and safeguard their vested interests. They target rising talents and unique voices, effectively sidelining those who could pose a challenge to the established profit. Making stars for Fox the banning of All-Star Weekend was not just a blow to his creative freedom, but a glaring example of how the industry's powers can control the narrative at their whim, a bold stance against cancer culture, you bet. And it's high time someone said it. The first step in eradicating this is awareness. When you piece it all together, it seems like Fox is donning the mantle of the maverick, standing in firm support of film sound of freedom that dares to strip away the polished veneer of the Hollywood elites. And let's switch gears here and talk about a club so exclusive. It's got its own ZIP code of influence, the good club, but imagine the heavy-hitting elites like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and yes, Oprah Winfrey hashing, according to The Guardian, out secret agendas in the heart of nice. 
include major players like David Rockefeller. And the broads were left picking our brains, trying to figure out the whispers behind those closed doors. And as it turns out, the public face, representing this entire party, is Oprah herself, Queen. Then I get a call for somebody, hi, Jamie Foxx, took me to Quincy Jones's house, Oprah's web, seemed to be ever-expanding, but Foxx was not having any of it. So what you mean you know, she says you got an opportunity to do something great walk into the history books, and you're blowing it, and I need to help you with 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 it, and I need to let us return to the topic of growing webs. Oprah's interesting friendship with Hollywood heavyweight Harvey Weinstein. This man was no stranger to scandal. But his close relationship with Oprah raised quite a few eyebrows. And Insider recounted the controversies surrounding Oprah, such as her connections to Harvey Weinstein, have made Jamie even more frustrated with her and questioned her commitment to women's rights, considering her vocal support of the Me Too movement. One can't help but question the sincerity behind her public persona. And then there's the dark tale of this self-proclaimed healer the dawn of God this Brazilian, who appeared to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, rose to national prominence after appearing on Oprah's show. His wellness center was ostensibly a refuge for the media, but under the surface it was more of a horrific trap. The fallout at chilling saga of abuse and deception, a man who claims to work miracles and heal the sick, he calls himself John of God, but there's nothing godly about him. Let's not forget that Charlatan's rise to fame was largely propelled by an undeserved status, leading even more unsuspecting individuals into his snare, even though Oprah later aligned herself with those exposing John's nefarious deeds a story in and of itself about the power and responsibility that comes with being influential. You identify as a spiritual medium. What does it mean to be a medium? Spiritualista venturing deeper into tumultuous waters, let's get back to the attention-grabbing campaign waters has spearheaded. Oprah, with all her star power, made a massive promise to Nelson Mandela of a brighter future for young South African girls through top-notch education. And thus the Leadership Academy for Girls was born in 2007. All good so far, but South Africa's government wasn't exactly popping champagne corks. Cricks were quick to raise eyebrows at the lavishness of the school, and Insider was quoted saying rumor had it that something much more sinister was happening behind those grand gates. While no solid evidence ever emerged these whispers were enough to cast a long unsettling shadow over Oprah's ambitious project, but wait the pot's still boiling introducing Virginia, a staff member tasked with overseeing dormitories, in a twisted turn, she became embroiled in deeply unsettling dealings, another insider chimed in, saying that young girls chosen by Oprah for a brighter future were betrayed by the very person who was supposed to look after them. The fallout was explosive, to say the least. Oprah, on the other hand, was quick on her feet, spearheating probes into the Academy's inner workings, but the saga was far from over. Tales of violence, intimidation, and coercion came to light, and seven students were fired for their roles in the drama. Tell her I would say, Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do. While Oprah hustled to mend fences, addressing controversies head on, the Academy's foundational cracks were becoming glaringly apparent, even with her pulling every power string. The entire globe stood there, eyes wide, waiting for the next shoe to drop. The story, it appears, that the school's mysteries did not end at its grand gates, since Academy security was as tight as a drum, a feature that did not escape. Why would an educational institution need such a high level of surveillance and ironclad policies? Unless there were some skeletons in the closet, you can't build a resentment about it. You have to still try and love those people, yeah. Because that's the way they're thinking. The whispers became colder when one anonymous tipter mentioned a big number of premium vehicles. While none of these rumors had solid evidence to back them up, 
they threw enough fuel on the speculation fire, hinting that the Academy's hands might not be as clean as they appeared. Guru began pouring into the Academy's books. Some financial analysts have pointed out discrepancies in the school's yearly expenditure, with funds appearing to be allocated to undisclosed projects, according to one analyst. Of course, with Oprah's extensive financial muscle, any shady dealings would undoubtedly be well concealed. But as the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. And the speculation that these undisclosed projects could be a front for massive operations is not without merit. The system is entirely centered on money. With all the smoke, it's difficult to see clearly what's going on at the Leadership Academy for Girls. And yet, despite all the rumors, the fog of suspicions surrounding the Academy shows no signs of lifting. So what do you think? Could there be any truth to these wild speculations, or is it all just gossip? I want to hear from you. Please leave your opinions in the comments section below. To you. Believe Jamie Foxx will reveal additional secrets in the coming days. Let's talk about it. Thank you for joining me on this crazy voyage into the interesting world of celebrity gossip. If you liked this video, please subscribe and like it. And don't forget to switch on alerts so you don't miss out on the newest changes till next time. Remain interested, remain entertained, and keep the comments coming.